Well, hey, welcome back. Uh, this is another cooking thing that we're doing with Damien. It's uh, so easy that a kid can do it. What we're doing today is we're making homemade mayonnaise. Now, remember this mayonnaise is only good for about five days. But what's good about making this mayonnaise is there's no sugar, none of that harmful stuff from the other mayonnaise that you get at the store. And this is actually fresh homemade. So what we're gonna do is Damien's gonna go ahead and crack his egg, and it's gonna be one egg. And you make sure your egg goes where, Damien? Into the thing. On the bottom. Make sure your egg goes on the bottom. Make sure there's no eggshells in there. And then we are going to use one tablespoon. Of or vinegar. A one tablespoon of vinegar. And we're just using white distilled vinegar. And one teaspoon. One teaspoon of lemon or lime juice. If you have fresh, it's always good. It's always good. Here we go. Just kind of hold it and I'll pour it in there a little bit. All right. And then yeah, we kind of wipe this off real quick. Because we're going to be dipping this into the salt. And then one teaspoon of salt. And then a squirt of mustard. All right, then you're gonna pour your oil in on top. How much oil? One cup of oil. Excellent. And it's you better just let if. It sit for a little bit. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna hand that to you. Remember, you put this, and when you put this in, you're gonna hold this on the bottom for about how long, Damien? 10 to 15 seconds. 10 to 15 seconds. Until it's the ingredients are dense and reach the top of the oil. Okay. There you go. You see it turning into mayonnaise as we speak. We don't have the best uh, little blender, but we're trying. You can do this in your your homemade blenders at home. We're going to try to do it in a mason jar. It's just a hair too big for the mason jar. And then just keep it going. Kind of stir it around a little bit. And if we had done it in a mason jar, it would have taken it and sucked it under and done it right. We'll probably get another one of these because what's good about these is you can add to it. You can put, uh, if you want hot mayonnaise, just add you some hot mayonnaise. All you need is a little bit of uh, like hot sauce, tapatio. You can, what's really good too is a lot of people will go through and they will add dill to it. Uh, give it that little bit of uh, a, a pungent flavor with your dill. And uh, that's just usually all, all it is to make a mayonnaise. It's really simple. I mean, it's so, so simple. A 10 year old can do it. But he's special. He's been cooking since he's been about four, as we've stated before. All right, and that is all you have to do to this. And then I'm going to. that out if I make a mess it's okay and then just kind of <laughs> stir that around right there yeah we had to use our fancy extension cord because we don't have any plugs here on our island which hopefully soon we'll remedy that uh, here in the future but that is all you need to do and if you want to do a close-up of this okay that is all you need to do and then if you've got something like this you just kind of take the sides just stir it in and that is all you do to make fresh mayonnaise and again if you have any other ideas say you have a better ingredient you're like oh chris this is a uh, awesome awesome mayonnaise you've got to try this please say that in the comments because we will try it and we will tag you and let you know uh, that we are trying out your mayonnaise to put it to the test and as always if you like this please like and subscribe thank you again for watching it's so easy a kid can do it thank you all y'all have a good day